I wanted to show you these new plants and the price of them and I'm so excited about this. So these are all from my local supermarket, Morrison's, which in the UK you will know, which I don't normally shop at, but when I'm at the caravan, the Morrison's is right next to the site. So um, I couldn't believe the plants in there. Look at the cost of them. So I'm gonna show you what I bought and I'm gonna start trying to clear some space to put them. First of all, I got these um, thorn-free blackberries and they were only 150 a plant look at them so i bought a couple of those i am trying to get a little bit more food now in the garden there are loads of reports online about food insecurity coming and and i just feel like we're going into a new era with challenges so i'm looking at berries possibly getting an apple tree just different things happening in the garden. Flower wise, look, I've always, always wanted to grow, in particular, this type of passion flower. So this was only two pounds, so I jumped at it. But then, look, there are other different types of passion flower as well. So I've got two passion flowers and two clematis. Look, a, a stripy pink and a purple and white clematis. And then in my last garden tour, I told you that I thought I'd bought fuchsias last year that weren't hardy because I lost fuchsias. Well, these two were only a pound each and they say hardy fuchsias. So I bought those to put into Tilly's garden. So I'm gonna plant up today. I think I'm gonna plant up this passion flower and I might plant with dark purple clematis. And I'm going to plant them. I'm going to plant them over in this side to try and get them to climb up here a little bit more and onto the fence. But I've got a broken pot that I'm going to try and plant them into so they've got a bit more depth of soil to grow in. So that's the first job for today. So this is the broken pot that I've got. It was in the edge of the path going up the garden. And I did actually really slice my ankle open on it, not realising it was there. So I was just about to throw it away. But I thought if I can break the bottom out so it's bottomless and put position it in there, it will just give a bit more protection to the roots and it will give a higher depth to the planting. So... That's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and smash the bottom out now without cutting myself. <laughs> Job done. Yay. So if I get that now, I'm going to try and position it somewhere in here. So there it is. So you can see what I've done. It's got that slightly higher depth of soil. And I've put a couple of sticks I saved when I had to cut some of the branches off the tree behind me because I didn't want any of these sticks going off site for some reason. It felt like energy that needed to stay on site. But there's a stick there ready to take the passion flower towards the, the trellis. And there's another stick here ready to take the clematis towards the trellis. So let's hope that they they do well it just adds a little bit of interest texturally as well that side okay these two fuchsia I think I need to tidy up this bed and put a couple of fuchsia in here look this is the fuchsia that that didn't come back this one which I was really sad about really um, yeah so that hasn't come back but I just need to tidy up along here first. I think I'm going to do that now. Do you know, I don't know whether, see this? I don't know whether that might not be joined to the dead fuchsia branch, so I'm just going to leave it for now. So you can see around Tilly's bunny. Now this is me and Tilly represented in this garden. 
but around the bunny I've left the Herb Robert which is a weed people pull that out all the time but it has this really sweet little pink flower that comes on it look at that pink and white and it has a smell about it that just reminds me of the countryside so I try and leave bits of it in um, but you can see I've got a hookah there and I've got a space this side I'm going to dig up the hookah that's under here next to this what on earth is that that is different oh my gosh have I got another clematis coming from somewhere what on earth okay I need to track where this has come from I've no idea what that's from but I'm going to dig up that hookah that's hidden underneath the hostas and I'm going to plant it there just in front of the bricks are protecting the base of this clematis here just to balance it up either side of the rabbit I'm also going to pull off some of these seed heads there may possibly be some seeds in there and I'm just going to dig those in while I'm doing it just this side who knows I might get new plants just from doing that I do literally have a second clematis planted down there I think I must have planted that last year and completely forgotten about it but aren't those two going to look lovely flowering together? So I've saved that from under there. Now I'm going to try and save the hookra. I'm so chuffed with that. Look. Okay, natural slug pellets to keep slugs off the hostas. What I'm doing, I'm cutting these off. And then I'm just positioning them underneath around the base of the hosta just to try and stop slugs from wanting to crawl across them and then this side where the daffodils have finished really I want all of this to die back into the bulb to give it goodness but it's unsightly so all I've done is I've tucked it underneath the plant under there again to try and discourage slugs it's not a smooth path for them and you can see the other hookah has gone in there and that kind of balances that up now which is lovely and it just opens a little bit of space up there, which is great. So you can see I've put bunting up and I'll take you into Tilly's garden. Oh, Rupert, that was a big yawn. I'll take you into Tilly's garden and I'll show you. So look, I put the bunting up there and across here. And I just love it. I just think it looks like a, a country fair, doesn't it? Um, and you can see it's a lot tidier now along there. Doesn't it look cute with the bunting? And I fixed her wind chime, which had broken. Um, so you can see I've weeded now all along here and given it another little strim. I just think it looks really cute. And I've brought out all of her fairy things that are getting lost under the certain plants and I bought them out to make a little fairy garden in this corner I think and the flamingos have been brought out I've left Mr Bummy <laughs> under there but I'm just really pleased I love the bunting up so much it's all had a stream and a tidy round. I unearthed these again and put them a bit more on show at the edge. Yes, I'm really pleased with it. I just think bunting in a garden is just so cute. Okay, I'm inside the vegetable garden here. And you can see what I mean by how long this goji berry um, bush grows. I, it just was not what I was <laughs> expecting at all. But uh, yeah, let's have a look at what is growing. Oh wow, look, we've got these coming up around. Around, we've got loads of strawberries just in the grass and these wildflowers here. We've got more um, of this. And look at all the fever few in here. Oh, that's going to be so beautiful. 
and then this beaded bearded iris as well but the fever view is coming out there so what i need to do is just attempt to clear a little bit and when i get these stingers out try and get some of these big docks out stream it down a little bit just see if i can clear some beds in here and get this bit of the garden usable again um and then we're going to attempt that side right let's see what we can do i'm so happy i've just i knew i'd bought a blueberry last year and i never cleared a space to plant it and i just assumed it had died and i felt really guilty about the fact that i bought this blueberry and i hadn't planted it and i've just in amongst the weeds dragged it out it was lying on its side and it's still alive isn't that amazing so i've got a blueberry to plant as well i'm super excited about that so this building bag that i unearthed was making funny noises and look it's absolutely full of frogs see them all look frogs everywhere there's just frogs everywhere in here this is why i want to put a pond up here look they're everywhere I've disturbed their lovely home. Right, let's lower it down so that they can get out. Okay, they all go. My God, it's like one of the Egyptian plagues. Look. <laughs> Come on, frogs, get out of here. Go on, that's it. Come on, out you go. All right, how's he jumps? Come on, what are you doing? Go. Go on, out you go, escape. But there they are on the path. Go on, escape, little frog, eh? Well done. Right, and you. Here he comes. Go on, then, out you go. And you. Ah, so many frogs. There they are in the path. Okay, I'm back up to this part of the garden. All that, those weeds there on top of that yellow bag are from the top of the strawberry barrel, which is beginning to get strawberries in, but I've not been looking after it. So I've got all the strawberries that have self-seeded in the grass. So I wanna try and dig those out and I wanna fill it right to the top with the soil and plant in the top as well. And I've been clearing out here too. The dogs are desperate to get in. So, it's another day up here. I did have an issue with the other yellow bag that was full of frogs. It wasn't just full of frogs. If you look at the state of my arm, it was also full of fleas. <sighs> so, I've managed to very carefully seal that bag up and put it in my bin. Uh, because I don't take it to the recycling to, for the garden recycling because I don't want to put fleas into that and really I've got to try and clear now and see if there is any more fleas in the garden or whether it was just in the bag because I do know that I have a fox in the garden that was possibly living at the top of the garden a big fox as well or just passing through the garden. The neighbors had told me about it and they'd also had problems with fleas once the fox started visiting. So I do wonder whether the fox wasn't lying on the bag if it was in my garden when I wasn't up here through winter because I've never ever had any problem like that in the garden before. So I'm gonna continue clearing. I'm gonna see if I get any more bitten. I hope not because I'm covered, not just on my arms and it's horrible. Um, and also I don't want the dogs in here because I don't want the dogs getting it and bringing it into the house. Um, yeah, so I'm very carefully gonna keep an eye on it. If it is a problem in here, I am gonna to have to get some uh is it nematode something natural because i don't want chemicals being sprayed on everything but yeah that was horrible uh, so i'm gonna go and get some soil and i'm gonna fill this up now 
Oh boy, this is taking forever. But I've got all the ragwort out the top because I don't think I want ragwort sticking out the top of the barrel. And I've found some wild flowers and more strawberries. And you can see the edge of a path here. Well, it's a ornamental path. And there, that I put in last year that's all been hidden. Um, so it still looks like I've done nothing, but you know, there's nearly a building bag full of weeds and it still looks no different. And that's just how long it takes to, to get anywhere really. Gardening is hard work, it takes a while. Now I'm gonna upset the dogs because I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna go through this gate here which is an old bed that I picked up from the tip <laughs> and you can see I brought my old mattress frame there to do something with but I'm going to finish the, the this vlog here because I brought you up just to show you the pea and then the, the fever view here is opening because if I wait to the end of the month these peonies might be finished Look at that. Aren't those gorgeous? Oh, we've got a bumblebee here. And here, look, you can see that what the flowers that the hookah throws up. And you can see the bees absolutely love it. It's like this sort of firework display. Now, this book is full of bindweed. I got in and I gave it a really good weed the other day. But yeah, I didn't want, didn't want to leave without showing you what the peonies look like. And you, look, you can see the hydrangea now, the climbing hydrangea at the back. This plant was hidden as well, you couldn't see that. Look, isn't that a pretty colour in amongst it all? So, and just as I walk down here, back to the house, look at this. Look at this. So that's it still tapping away at it just attempting to get things done I mean look it, it feels like it's never ending but if you consider in that first garden tour this you couldn't see any shape any path anything and now I've uncovered fruit bushes the bed, the fever few bed is over there, which I just threw seeds in last year, is full of flowers. I mean, look at this bed over here. Look at it. Oh, I told you it would be beautiful. And look, all the bearded irises are out. Isn't that so pretty? Still haven't put the, the blueberry in. And we've got new strawberry plants planted so it does begin to take shape just by tip tapping away at it just whenever you've got a chance so don't get overwhelmed is a message for myself and for you guys <laughs> even if you do have whiny lurchers so i'm going to end it there thanks guys so much for watching another garden diary and um, I will see you next time. Bye.